Hey, you are looking live now at the nation's capital. A fight is brewing to keep the government from shutting down. The Senate and House are poised to approve legislation today that would keep the federal government running into early December. President Biden's $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill is also up for a vote today. ABC's Alex Perche in Washington with the very latest. Alex, good morning. Hey, Walt. Yes, today could be a decisive day for the Biden agenda on Capitol Hill. And the president, while aware of this, spent last night drumming up support at a baseball game. The first offerings. Intense negotiations during last night's congressional baseball game, just hours before a potential government shutdown and a crucial infrastructure bill vote. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi in the dugout on the phone, and President Biden seen visiting with Democrats and Republicans. The game, a warm up for the big showdown later today. Lawmakers expected to first vote on funding to avoid a government shutdown. They reached a deal overnight and will vote today. That will supply the, 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 the result that we all expect, which is to keep the lights on. The House also scheduled to vote on President Biden's $1 trillion bipartisan infrastructure package. It's already passed the Senate and would create an estimated 500,000 jobs, rebuild the nation's roads and bridges, and expand rural broadband internet. I'm a hard no tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm an absolute no. House progressives threatening to vote no unless Congress passes a separate three and a half trillion dollar package covering everything from early childhood education to funding for efforts to combat climate change. Uh, well, we take it one step at a time. Progressives are frustrated at two moderate senators who won't support the larger package. There's also the looming debt ceiling. If Congress doesn't act fast to either suspend it or raise it by October 18th, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen warns the U.S. could face a financial crisis and possible recession. Walt. Okay, Alex, with the latest, thank you.